This uh, piece that uh, is here for conservation, it's on loan from the Schaffhausen Museum in Switzerland. It's uh, a medieval printed beaker uh, broken into about 48 pieces is what I counted. Part of the loan agreement was to retreat these pieces that have been in, in their collection since they were found in 1920. The way we approach these things is to first make sure all the fragments are clean and then you pretty much begin assembly from one major point, usually the base, which is what I usually work on, and you find fragments that join to the base and you carry on from there. We are going to fill the losses here so this will actually look virtually intact. One of the difficulties in retreating a piece of glass is the fact that it's very important to remove all traces of previous adhesives and film materials. I think it's been restored at least twice, possibly even three times, from the different residues I'm finding on the surface. I do need a microscope. Uh, I need a microscope not only for the cleaning, because we're checking all the edges, absolutely all the edges, um, under the microscope to make sure there's no excess heat because it's left. It really allows me to look for air bubbles in the glass, to look for working lines, which can be simply just a, a concentric line going around the glass from how it was blown. And on archaeological glass, which medieval falls into that category, you often get deterioration, scratches, weathering, and other features on the glass that can tell you very precisely where each and every fragment belongs. We're using an acrylic adhesive. The advantage of, a, of acrylic adhesive over something like an epoxy is it's very easy to apply, it's very easy to remove and even move the fragments as we're assembling them. So what I've done here is a preliminary to actually starting the assembly is I've laid out all the fragments in some consecutive order of assembly. This is important because you, you need to put every piece on in a certain order. I started with the base because the base was almost completely intact and it makes most sense in assembling a glass to work from the base upwards. This gives you more structural support and uh, is also checks each join as you're working around the, uh, the piece. As you can see I'm not wearing gloves uh, because I want to get a very firm hold of the object itself and the fragments as I apply it. With this acrylic adhesive we simply just apply it across the surface. It doesn't matter if you get a little excess on the surface and the piece is, is very simply just put into position. The, um, the adhesive will not set up immediately, so we have a little bit of time to actually work it, work the piece into position, just with your fingers, usually finger on one side, thumb on the other, moving it back and forth to make sure that the alignment is, is correct. This is when I also use a little bit of acetone on the brush, just to Clean up a little bit of excess adhesive off the surface. As you can see, the piece is not moving at this point. The adhesive has started to thicken up a little bit. And we can clean off some of the excess adhesive and then check it again under the microscope. Just by feeling across the joins with your fingers, you can feel if you've got it in position or not. Cleanup is easily done with just acetone. And so just on a, on a small paper towel, we can clean up the excess adhesive right off the surface.